So we're going to work on Malaganya now. This is a, our first solo that uses eighth notes. Malaganya is in the musical form that we call ternary form, meaning that we start with one part, we have something different in the middle, and then we end with the same music that we started with. Right? So we call that a ternary form or an A, B, A form. So uh, we're going to work on the first part, and I'd like to break this down for you in steps. So this is the introductory part. The first thing you'll notice about this is that we're going to have to hold two notes down in the left hand. And if you look at the illustration for this piece, this is the first thing that it gives you, a stack of four pitches that you have to play. And so we have E fretted on the fourth string with the middle finger and G sharp fretted on the third string with the first finger. In the right hand, what we're going to do is sometimes we're going to strum this chord. And in flamenco style guitar playing, a strum is called a rasgado, which literally means to scratch. Um, so basically what we're going to do is strum with the thumb from the fourth string through the first, like this, as we hold those two frets. E and G sharp. Now within the piece, that is actually how the first section ends. If you look at the ninth measure, you will see that we have that same stack of chords, of notes, I should say. So we're also going to begin with this shape in the left hand. And before we actually start playing it, what I'd like you to do is fix your middle finger on the first string of the right hand. And then what we're going to do is just use the right hand thumb to first pluck the fourth string. That's an E. Then the third string, which you're holding as G sharp. And then the second string. So we do those, those three strings with the thumb. Fourth string, third string, second string. Now once you have that down, in between each thumb, we're going to pluck the first string as an open string with the middle finger so that it sounds like this. Now that's in fact the first two measures of the piece. What we end up doing then after that is we're going to have to move to different fretted notes that we're going to pluck with our thumb. In between each thumb note, or P note, we are going to pluck the first string open with the middle finger. So now, if we look at the first two measures, they would sound like this. In time, we're counting one and two and three and. So now we get to the third measure, and we have to move to different frets. We're going to hold first A. And if you recall, A is on the third string, second fret. And after that, we're going to have to play a C, which is on the first fret, second string. So essentially, we're moving that entire shape we were holding before on the fourth and the third string up one string. And the thumb's going to play the third string then the second string, and then if you look at the music, the second string becomes a B, which means we have to lift the first finger in order to be able to pluck that. Then we go back to the A that we're holding on the third string, and it becomes a G, and then finally an F. And F is the fourth string, third fret. And we play that with our third finger, and then we just play that whole passage once again. So the way that this looks is as follows. Here is the entire first line. Only the thumb notes. If we do it with the middle finger in between each one of the thumbs, it really fills it out a little bit more.
Notice how I ended with that strum that we talked about at the very beginning. So that doesn't sound like much, but when you speed that, those two lines up, it really comes to life. I recommend practicing it very slow first, only playing the thumb notes and then trying it with the middle finger in between each of the thumbs. So here's how that passage would sound at a more performance-like tempo. So now we have a middle section to this piece, and this section is intended to be played slower than the first part. It's meant to contrast the first music that we heard. And in general, this is pretty simple. We start, the first line of music starts with just a single line melody that's distributed mostly on the first three strings, although at the end of it we do play the fourth string, E, that we've already played before. So here's how this line of the slow part, the first line of the slow part sounds. One, two, three. Then what follows that is another line of slow music, and this time we have a very similar passage, but in addition to playing that melody on the treble strings, we have to play a few open bass notes with it. And this one, this second phrase starts with a pickup. So one, two. And that basically closes out the slow section. Notice that the last note I played was that same E that we started with, and I plucked it with my thumb. This sets us up for a return of the first part that we played. And we just basically play those two lines that we started with again, and the ending is just, we get a little bonus material. What you'll notice is when I end, I strum my chord as I did the first time, hold it for three counts, and then I'm going to move positions. Now when we change positions in guitar playing, we call this a shift. And remember, a position's always determined by the placement of my first finger. So I'm going to take those two fingers and shift up one fret, and then I strum those four strings. And now we're going to move and shift two more frets up so that I'm in the fourth position, and strum, hold for three counts, then we move back to where we just were, hold for three counts, and then we go back to where we started. And that's the end of that section. So here's the final fast part of this with the strummed chords. So here's the whole piece as a continuous piece. You'll notice uh, both parts. I hold that last chord that I just strummed, and then I'll start the, the middle part, which is a little bit slower, and I'll return to the fast part. And I'm going to play it more at a performance-like tempo so that you can hear what it's like. You're not required to play it at this tempo or speed. Whatever works for you to keep it smooth and steady.
Thank you.